Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I collect cute things, I make cute things, I sell cute things, I just really like cute things. Today's video, I'm gonna be focusing more on the making of cute things because I made these two mirrors over the weekend. And honestly, it took me like two days to actually make these and get them finished. But I'm really, really happy with the way that they turned out. I actually designed them first on Procreate. It just like sketched up a little bit in my free time. And I was like, I have to make those. So I made them both. I'm gonna be keeping both for myself just because obviously they are like, you know a different brand and stuff like i'm not gonna sell these so i know people will be asking are these gonna be on my shop they're not gonna be um but i would encourage you to maybe create your own that sort of stuff i may bring out some of my own designs or something like that then in like the kind of mirror form because i really really like how these have turned out so the first one that i made was this one here with like the derpy kind of woody and buzz and the little alien on the back there oh i can see myself that's really funny <laughs> and then on this one here i did bullseye and mr potato head and i just kind of did them in my own style and i really really like them because they've turned out so derpy and stuff and yeah just really happy with how these have turned out so hopefully if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up and stick around maybe leave a little bit of a comment we need a little bit of better engagement going on here because um yeah my videos are just sinking into the algorithm anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please do give me a little bit of feedback and i'm just gonna get straight on into the actual diy part so yeah hopefully you stay tuned for all of that intro sorry it was so long um i'm just gonna go into the diy now so to start off with, I actually made this kind of clay casing around one of my mirror rounds. It was really self-explanatory, so I just like skipped out the video because to be honest, all I did was roll up some clay and just like, wrapped it around the mirror and baked it. I then took it out of the oven and obviously let it cool down, that sort of stuff. And once I had it, I then just took a nail file to it and just really smoothed it out and made sure that it was nice and rounded and yeah, just as smooth as I possibly could get it. Like I said, I used a nail file just because I find that easier than using sandpaper, but you can use sandpaper as well. To add on the first bit of decoration for the first one, so this one here is the derpy one with the alien and a buzz and woody on it. To make the alien, I just pressed like a small ball of polymer clay down onto the kind of clay around. Then I made this little shape here, just squeezing it between my fingers and using a Cricut tool just to kind of shape that down. I added two circles of clay just down either side of that initial circle to make the alien's ears and once that was done, the little alien was done. To make Woody's body, I just kind of made this shape here, like a rectangle with two pieces out the side. So I just pulled them out with my fingers and then kind of really sculpt the rest of the clay down with the Cricut tool again. Honestly, this Cricut tool is like even more handy for clay than it is like weeding. I just, I don't know, I'm getting my use out of it. I'm using on air dry clay, polymer clay, my Cricut stickers. Um, but yeah, I don't know, the, the little tool is really handy. I would really recommend getting a little tool for this, like for clay and everything. I then did the same kind of thing over with Buzz in the same way as the body, but I actually added this like circle of clay at the top. I just kind of shaped that out with the um, like Cricut tool again, making sure that the base of that was nice and straight. And this is how the three shapes turned out. I then placed the whole thing back in the oven for another 15 minutes because the like clay pieces on top were really kind of thin. And uh, yeah, I just baked that according to the instructions on my packets with 110 degrees Celsius for an extra 15 minutes. Once that one was in the oven, I then set out to like paste the other clay bits on this one here so to make bullseye i just splatted a big thick bit of clay on there and popped two kind of rounded triangles on for the ears and then i made the kind of hair part just again using the cricket tool and i just slapped that onto the top <laughs> for um mr potato head i then again just popped a ball down squidged it in popped another two balls on the bottom and pressed those up to make the feet and then added two like kind of ball bits either side of the main body to make the ears then made the little hat and the little arms one of the little arms was like really tricky to get in there so i just like smushed that in with the cricket tool and that's how this one here turned out i made sure on that one there by the way to not like press the pieces really far in so it didn't mold with the clay i actually wanted to see how it would fare like making them kind of almost like detached so you'll see that in a bit once they were cooled and out of the oven both of them i then decided to start painting them so i painted on the backgrounds to begin with on the one with buzz woody and the little alien again i just painted that in a very light blue as the plan was to have clouds on that one for this one here i painted half of it in a white and yeah and just painted those white clouds on the light blue one now i did find painting the base of them without the characters on a lot easier than i did you know like with this one here painting the kind of like design going behind the characters it was just a lot easier if you make the other pieces separate and attach them afterwards as i found with the second one just wanted to test it out see which i liked better but i definitely liked like doing them separately 
for the one with the bullseye and uh, Mr. Potato Head, I wanted to do like half of it kind of like cowboy print. I thought that would be really nice for bullseye to sit on that. So I just went in with a paint pen and just painted on some black spots over that white background. Then I went in with this beige shade and just did a half, well, slightly off half um, kind of line down the center and just then colored that in a nice solid color. I did add some stitching marks around that with like a darker brown just to you know go in with the cowboy like effect and I think that worked out really nicely as well. So once that one there was drying I went back to the original blue one with the clouds on and started painting in all of the details for each of the characters. So I started with the skin tones first so I did the green on the aliens and the, the skin tones obviously on Buzz and Woody then started layering on each of of the colors that I needed. I did make sure to go all around like the edges right up close to the background try not to go on it um, and just painted in layers and just carried on layering and layering and layering until I was really happy with the finish. Obviously with the characters being more simplified and kind of like more in like my kind of little derpy style as opposed to like looking actually like the characters I was able to like take the main features from them so like um, Woody's hat, his yellow shirt, his like cowboy print vest type thing without having to add too much detail. Obviously if you're making this your own you'll want to kind of like switch up just a little bit just to make it look a little bit more like what you would kind of do. Um, so yeah I picked out the main kind of features and just went kind of by memory almost just so that it kind of looked a little bit different from the original. With the details on Buzz, I did use paint pens more than anything just because he had a lot of line work and I just figured paint pens a lot easier. I love, love, love this purple shade here. This is a pen by Arteza. I was gifted these a long, long time ago, but yeah, I have already bought them since and I really, really like them. So yeah, I used that lilac colour on there. I used that recently in my Patrick pen. I just loved it. With the final details on like Woody and everything like that, I also used the paint pen. So I used it on his bandana, on his little belt there, on like the little cow, little print bits on his waistcoat. And that worked out really well. To add the eyes on, I just used a white Posca paint pen, just drawing circles and then drew black circles in the center of those to give them cute little pupils once the white had dried. I did go back in with a gold marker, so it's like a gold um, like liquid leaf. It's a really, really nice metallic finish. This is by the brand Rustoleum. I just kind of pumped that out onto like an old sticker app kind of sticker back thingy just so that I was able to use a dotting tool and just like get really nice like cute little touches of gold on there as you can see here like watch this it just like scoops on it and it's so metallic it's so cool so i used that for like the little alien kind of loop bit around the planet i used it for the star badge as well as woody's little belt buckle there i thought that was a nice little touch i also decided that buzz needed a little bit too so i added a little bit of a triangle design onto his legs because i know he does have a few little bits like that but i thought the gold would be a nice touch so once all those bits were then dry and I went back over to the other one and painted the extra little bits which weren't attached so Bullseye and Mr. Potato Head. I just painted those in the regular colours actually, just more simplified version and with the faces kind of just with some little googly eyes in the same way that I did Buzz and Woody. I really really like it, I think it turned out adorable. I do love Mr. Potato Head's little nose and moustache there, I think that's so cute and I think it worked out really well. And yeah, that's that's all I have to say about them. I just painted them and then I stuck them onto the mirror, which I didn't have to do on the other one because where I pushed down the clay, it like bonded to it really, really well. On this one here, I did kind of pick it off right before I baked it so that I was able to keep them separate and just see which kind of method I liked better. Like I said, I do like making them separate, gluing them back on once they're dry and then the resin kind of keeps it in place anyway. So with both pieces, I did glaze them in resin. I used UV resin for this. So I went in and around all of the little gaps first on the characters, then just cured that down, did another layer. And I think I did three layers on each mirror in total, making sure they were fully secure. As you can see here, I'm taking some super glue on the back of those pieces and just super gluing them down into place, making sure they're not moving. Then to triply secure it, I just added a couple of layers of resin, making sure to get right into the cracks, glazing that down and, you know, curing it with my UV light once that was done my mirrors were then complete and that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed it like i said in the intro if you did enjoy this video then please do give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a little comment or something i'll be sure to reply to you um but yeah this is what my two mirrors have turned out like i oh, just i adore them honestly the glitter on them has turned out really nice as well i love to put the glitter kind of on my like handmade pieces i think it just like really sets it off and i don't 
I don't know how well it's picking up on camera until I go and edit this back, but hopefully that's kind of picking up some of the glitter there. It's really, really cute. They're really, really super duper shiny as well. On the front, obviously you're just gonna be able to see yourself there, um, but the mirrors have turned out perfectly as well. On this one here, they have cracked a couple of ways. I don't know if that was from like the resin heating up as I like glazed the front or what quite happened, but it's not anything major. It's just sort of cracked around the edges. It's really peculiar like this is this is really hard to show <laughs> you can just see what i can see um no you're not gonna be able to see it but yeah there's some cracks in this mirror and yeah i don't mind i'm keeping them for myself so yeah really happy with how these have turned out i think they're adorable i'm gonna put each one of them in a backpack or something i've always, always got a little mirror with me very handy i know so anyway like i said hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i've said that 10 million times and i'm just gonna go so i will see you very soon for another one bye